Dr. Angelique Barber. I'm a board certified chiropractic physician and I'm also certified in animal chiropractic. Before attending chiropractic school, I received a bachelor's degree in veterinary science and a master's degree in veterinary pathobiology, which is basically just a fancy name for the study of animal disease. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the different techniques that are available for adjusting horses. Those techniques consist of adjustments that utilize tools like a chiropractic adjusted instrument or a mallet or just the use of hands, which we would call manual adjusting. I want to talk a little bit about the tool that I utilize when I'm adjusting horses and that tool looks like this. This is an animal adjusting tool made specifically for adjusting animals and it can be calibrated to administer a different amount of force depending on the size of the animal that I'm working with. At the lowest setting, it can be used on an animal as small or smaller than a kitten. And at the highest setting, it can be used on a draft horse or an animal larger than a draft horse. It should be this setting. Normally when I'm adjusting a normal sized horse, I'm at a setting that's lower than that highest draft horse setting. About there. So the reason I wanted to talk about this tool is that there are some practitioners out there who basically frown upon utilizing a tool when adjusting horses and it, they pretty, pretty much encourage horse owners to not use a practitioner who is utilizing a tool for the adjustment. And they have two reasons why they say that. The first reason is that they claim that the tool is too scary for horses and the second is that they claim that the tool is not able to administer enough force to actually move a bone in, in a horse. So now, the first reason with it being scary, the tool does give off a clicking noise, and some horses may be a little scared of that at first. Um, the majority of horses do not mind it at all, and the minority of horses who are scared usually get over it and are actually very, very relaxed and um, enjoy the session with just a little bit of desensit desensitization. Basically, we just click the tool around them until they get used to it. I've only had one horse in my entire career that would not tolerate the tool at all, and I just did manual adjusting on that horse. The other thing that they say about this tool is that they believe it cannot administer enough force. While it's true, if somebody is using a human adjusting tool, like the human activator, those tools were made for humans. Therefore, they're not going to be useful on a horse. However, this tool was made specifically for animals and specifically for horses. So it does just fine. The other thing that I really like about this tool is that I can also use it for soft tissue work. A lot of times horses have associated muscle spasms and trigger points when they have areas that are fixated and I can use this tool by rapid firing it into the muscle to release those spasms and trigger points which is actually quite effective. The other thing that I like about this tool is that it's really safe. And the reason that it's safe is because it fires very quickly. It fires faster than I can move my hand. When I'm using this tool on a horse, horses are not always going to be cooperative. I can't make them lay down and relax on a chiropractic adjusting table like I can with human patients. A horse is standing and oftentimes they're not really sure what you're doing and their muscles are going to react to that by bracing against the adjustment. This tool fires so fast that the horse's muscles do not have time to react. Therefore, the horse is getting adjusted whether they're fully cooperative or not. So basically, whenever you're using a chiropractor for your horse, it's really important to choose somebody that is skilled, who is educated, and most importantly, who comes highly recommended. Remember that with any technique, whether the practitioner is doing it manually, using a tool, using mallets, there's always a risk that they could do something wrong and cause harm if they are not utilizing the technique properly, which is why it's very important to use somebody that actually is educated and certified in the technique. I've been riding horses since I was five years old. I've owned horses consistently since the age of 12. I'm very familiar with and confident and relaxed around horses. Make sure that when you're choosing a chiropractor for your horse, it's somebody who has experience with horses. Therefore, you can ensure it'll be a fun, safe, and beneficial experience for both you and your horse. Again, I'm Dr. Angelique Barber, and if you have any questions for me, you can reach me by email 
at angelhorse24, which is A-N-G-E-L-H-O-R-S-E 24 at gmail.com. Thanks, and I'll talk to you again soon.